Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Keo Show. Uh, well, this is another video I'd like to put out because I've gotten a tremendous amount of these particular questions. And sometimes it gets tough uh, to answer a lot of people, so sometimes I like to put out a video uh, and just talk about the majority of what the conversations were about. Well, I've had a lot of people ask me about skipping the smaller helicopters because they think it's too expensive and going right for one of these uh, pro size. I think pro is kind of a corny word. I think it's, I like to call it your last level of learning, which is the CCPM uh, cyclic pitch uh, type helicopters. Now, I mean, my advice, if you wanted to skip these type of helicopters, four channel coaxials and uh, fixed pitch with uh, ETRM tail motors, then this is probably your next cheapest way out. Uh, this is a Phoenix professional radio controlled flight simulator. You can get these online. You can get them with or without the controller. I would strongly recommend getting it with the controller. It usually comes with a DX5, which I will show you. One second. This is the type of controller that it'll come with, guys. And you'll usually get the whole package for around $170. It comes with the CD to load into your computer. Uh, the the uh, batteries, uh, and it'll come with the cable to plug into your USB port. This will give you all your controls that you need. And I didn't learn with one of these. I learned how to fly without one of these. And now I have one of these. And what I use it for is in the winter time to stay fresh because I'm in a cold part of... Uh, of uh, the United States uh, and we have long winters here and this is how I stay fresh and how I enjoy flying inside on the computer. These are not toys. These are not uh, PlayStation games. Uh, these are real true-to-life simulators. Um, after flying these for years and using one of these, I would say this is dead on. I mean dead on, perfect of what these really fly react like. I still recommend, you know, starting with something like this to have fun, have a good memory, learn, have fun learning the process. You're not going to buy one of these and go flying it and the next day out in the field. That's unrealistic. Everybody progresses at their own uh, rate. It depends how much time and practice and, and money you want to put into it. But these are very enjoyable. I still own these and I have bigger than this size here. Pro helicopters or last level of learning helicopters. And I still enjoy these inside the house. They're a blast and a lot of fun. Uh, but back to the original question. Is it possible to go from a simulator right to one of these. Uh, I think there's an intimidation factor with these things. Uh, the sound of them, the loudness of them spooling up. Uh, maybe if you could get over all of that. Uh, and I think if you had somebody that was a pretty good a flyer and a pretty good builder and they and remember these come as kits they don't come like this you gotta put them all together now put them together you gotta know what you're doing guys you have to know uh, you know how to assemble these how to set up the servos the, the gyros the radios they all come with computer radios now uh, your your blade you gotta have pitch on your blades to get lift uh, your blade tracking uh, a lot of tedious little stuff if you had somebody, if you used one of these for a good long time and you weren't crashing and you were flying these kind of helicopters on here and you were really comfortable and confident, 
and you had a, a trainer guy with you and somebody who set one of these absolutely a perfect and really uh, you know took the expos uh, and dummied them down really dummied them down for you so you could it was very mushy and not too responsive I suppose it's very possible you know to be able to do that I don't recommend it I think you should you know have fun in this hobby and not rush it I think you should uh, should have fun learning and enjoy the the whole process along the way you know and going from like an E-Flight Blade MCX2 you know to a, a, a Blade 120 SR which is a fixed pitch and you know and using one of these uh, in between and then you know usually like an E-Flight Blade 450 those are good because or the Blade 400s they're not the best of helicopters you know they're not like a, a, a kit but what's nice with those is if you're by yourself they basically come ready to fly out of the box charge the battery they're all uh, the blade tracking the servos everything is just about set up perfect so you can really start off with one of those the problem is still if you run into and you have a crash now you gotta have it fixed or you have to know how to fix it uh, but you know down the road uh, you get yourself these Align helicopters. These are really, uh, really good helicopters. And uh, when you're confident and not crashing anymore, you get, you know, you get yourself a kit like this and you put it together. Uh, but anyways, it's just a quick little video. You know, I'm I'm just trying to, you know, people ask me these questions and uh, try to get back with them. So, uh, you know, like I, like I said, yes, I do think it's possible to go from one of these to go to go to this if you're really good on this, but you really, you still need somebody that, to make sure the helicopter is set up safe, it's set up right, and, uh, you know, if you want to bypass these little ones and go right for a big one, you know, sure, it's possible, you know. So anyways, uh, that's just my opinion, and... Uh, you know, hope it helps you out. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, and, uh, you know, like I said, don't rush the hobby. Enjoy the process. Enjoy having fun. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, guys. Take care.